Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the cheat menu for the Skyrim cheat room on the Xbox One. So, if you don't know what this is, it's basically a menu that adds console commands to the Xbox One. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. Basically, essentially what console commands can do, you can do with this. It's pretty powerful. And, it's been a quite a while since I've done a video on it. Um, that's basically because I've, I dropped it, and I figured there's no point in completing it, because there's no interest. So I'm hoping this video gets a little bit of interest, maybe. If it doesn't, then I'll probably drop it again. But, basically, um, what I've added is mod support. So you can now use mods with this menu. So it doesn't matter what mod, as long as you have the IDs and know the load order name. You can use it with this, there's no patches, no nothing, so, um, say for example, there is, oh, yeah, I'll give an example. Say for example, there is a mod that adds a new race, and it doesn't add it to the show race menu. So, you want that race, but you can't bear it because it's not in the show race menu. Well, you can, you can make that happen with this menu. Um, it's just one of many examples. So, if I go down to, what is this under? could be under object reference. Um, okay, no it's not. It's under actor. So if I go to actor script, and I scroll down, you will see set race. So, um, basically, you can go in, get the race from the mod, and apply it to yourself using this. Um, among other things, you can spawn mod modded items from any fucking mod. You can spawn NPCs from mods, you can edit quests from mods, you can um, make weather active from mods, you can apply effects made from mods. Um, you can do anything really, and it doesn't require any any um, patches or anything, it will just work. So, um, in this case, I'm going to spawn an NPC, or an actor from the Forgotten City. So, I've already got it set up so that I can, because there is some stuff involved with getting it working. Um, normally, you have to go into show edit variables, and manually add in the mod you want to edit. But I've already done that, just for time's sake, because I don't really want to waste time doing it. Um, but just to show you what you normally would do, you go down to here, select mod, and you'll pick custom mod, and you'll type in the mod you're using, or you want to edit. So, it basically just a bunch of strings um, or characters that you just plop in until it makes up the name of the mod. So in this example, I have to load because I deleted it, but in this example, since I'm using the Forgotten City, um, what should be sh what I should have typed in is this right here. So Forgotten City dot ESP, and um, the menu now knows to use that um, mod with the menu. So it's not going to use Skyrim anymore, so if you try spawn things from Skyrim, it's not going to work, because it thinks you're trying to spawn things from the mod. So it only works with the mod now. If you want to spawn things from Skyrim or whatever, you have to switch back to Skyrim. Um, as you can see here is Skyrim. So, um, let's spawn an NPC. So what we have to do, is we have to go to Object Reference in this case, we have to go to Place Actor at Me, and Inside of Form 1, I already have it stored as my player reference, so I'm just going to select that. And I don't have an NPC stored from the mod in any of these, so I'm going to click Custom. And now, um, comes the point where people won't know what the fuck to do, and they'll get lost. So, this is where it sort of parts away with normal users. And mod authors. So if you're a mod author and you make mods and you try to test them out of this menu, you'll be fine. You'll understand how to use this and you'll just be able to make it work. If you're a user, a normal Xbox user that plays Skyrim, you won't be able to do anything here. Um, and you probably won't be able to use mod support because of what's involved. So it'll be at this point where you won't know what to do. That's because you need IDs. And you get the IDs from opening the mod in some sort of dev kit, such as the creation kit, or xedit. And it'll show these IDs that you want. Um, and of course, a normal user can't do that. So, unless mod authors post the IDs in their descriptions for debugging, or some website gathers the things up, 
um, so that users can look at them. Um, normal users won't better utilize this, but um, because I can access the Forgotten City because I'm a modder, um, I can do this, and I'm basically going to show you how to do it. Um, so I'm using XEdit. Well, I'm not, not going to show you how to do it. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. So I'm using XEdit because it uh, loads up 1,000 times faster than Creation Kit, and um, it's easier to use. So, um, let's just spawn a random NPC from the mob. So I was going to scroll through here and spawn something that has a name. So let's spawn a looter. So let's spawn the entry bandit 01. I mean, 0401. I don't know what this is, but we're going to spawn it. Um, there's some things in here we don't care about that. Um, what we need here is the form ID. So the form ID is this hexadecimal number right here. And it's also listed right here beside NPC semicolon um, 0106231B. So 0106231B is the ID we need to type in to this menu right here. So we need to type that in to there. Now, one, one difference that you're not going to type in is the load order. So as you know, if the first two, or the first three, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure it's the first two, the first two digits or characters um, is what the mod is in the load order. The menu doesn't give a shit about this. If you type that in, it won't work properly. So what you have to do is you have to put, no matter what these numbers are, just put them both to zero, zero. So if it's like 3F or something, um, just put it as zero, zero. So in this case, for the menu's case, it will be zero, 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 six, two, three, one, B, right? I know that no one's going to understand that because no one's going to be a modder that's watching this, but I'm just saying it anyway. So, 0006 zero, 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 b So, um, you can see this number showing up. Now, if you were to go, if you were to type into Google, decimal to hex converter, go to the website and input this number, the resulting um, output should be this right here. Unless I've typed it in wrong I'm a retard, it should output this um, aside from the one. It should just be a zero. And that's how you know if you're typing in the correct thing. So um, yes, this should spawn a looter. So if we click exit, exit again. Um, that's me, that is saying it's spawning at me, and it is spawning this thing. So this is the bandit looter, apparently. So, turn God mode on, it's already done, right. Um, so, as you can see, the looter has spawned. Very, very interesting. Um, What's another example I can give? I'm not going to edit quests, even though I can, because it's just... The quests with the Forgotten City work a bit differently, and um, not really good for showcasing, so I'm not going to edit the quests. But just as another example, um, you can fuck off now, no one cares, no one needs you. Just as another example, I will spawn an item. So, let's look for an item. Uh, get over here. Here we go. Um, so, let's just spawn... A key. Um, chambers key, let's spawn that. So, um, we just need to type in the ID again. So, this was about the one. So, we need to type in 0002C6F8 and it will work. So, we go to here, we go down to object reference because that's what we want to do. We want to do add item. We want to spawn it at me and we want to do custom. Um, this is a bug, um, it's not meant to say uh, what it says there. So we're going to type in 0, zero, zero two, um, c 6 f 8 So F8. So this should be the key for the chambers. So if we exit, exit again, um, it worked. So if the IDs are wrong, it will state that they're wrong. So if I mistyped something there, or I didn't type something correctly, and it can't cannot find that ID, it'll pop up saying 
it's wrong and it's an, it's not correct. So if you you know you can tell this working if it goes to the next menu, um, which it did, which is this menu here. So since I don't have any numbers saved in any of these, I need to do a custom, and we'll just spawn five of them. All right, so there we go. We spawn the chamber key, chambers key. Uh, I don't know why the fuck you'd want that. I can't even drop it, so it's a quest item. <laughs> so probably kind of a dumb thing to do. But um, yeah. Can I actually delete this item? Have I added the ability to do that? Uh, no, I haven't, I don't think. Um, just as another example, um, let's see who owns the cell that I'm currently in. So I'm doing me. Oh, no, not who owns... Uh, wait, what is this? No, this is the cell I'm currently in. So, I want to store this. I don't think this will work, because I don't think it stores... Um... Quest, I mean, modded things properly. So, okay, it does. That's that's interesting. Now she's stored it. Ah, okay. That's interesting. I don't think this is going to work, though, because the little, I haven't scripted it fully yet. But if we go to cell script, and we go to the actor owner, what the fuck did I store it in like, for? Um, oh, yeah, so it's not going to work. Um, that's just because I haven't fully... I haven't um, fully implemented mod support yet. But yeah, so that's just um, an example of using the menu with modded things. So, um, I'll give a quick example of the error. Um, that's gone back before. So, say I want to spawn something from the normal game. Let's spawn 0F. Um, or 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0F, which is coins, or whatever the fuck it is in this game, the currency. Um, so if we go to here, um, we don't spawn it at me, we do custom, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we do F, and we exit. Uh, we can see that it doesn't understand what that is, because it's not in this mod. But, um, if we go back here, and we switch it back to Skyrim, so let me scroll down here, see if it is selected to Skyrim, it is selected to Skyrim, nice. And we do the exact same thing we just did. Just one at me, custom. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, F. And we exit. Uh, we can see that it understands what it is now, so we can add, you know, for fucking what, I don't know. And there we go, we've added a lot of gold, that's what it is, not coins. Um, so that's basically how it works, um, hopefully, um, people like this, I don't know, really depends, I don't even know if people play Skyrim Special Edition anymore, so, yeah, there you go, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and, yeah, let me know what you think, think in the comments, and, yeah, have a good one.